Hello, hello, hello. What is going on, everybody? This is Ken Cloutier coming at you from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I am obviously driving, so I'll try and not crash at all. Um, So I apologize if I can't see all of the comments that are coming up, but uh, wanted to share a special message with you today. And uh, I'm actually on my way to a a uh, business seminar here. Got some local folks in the area that are absolutely jacked up about entrepreneurship and and building their business. And I'm going there to help them out tonight. And it's getting ready to rain a little bit. So hopefully you can hear me. Shoot me some hearts if you can hear me okay. If you can see me, if you can hear me all right, shoot me some hearts. I'm at a red light right now. Tell me where you guys are coming from. Are we in the West Coast? Are we in the East Coast? North, South, East, West, other countries? Go ahead and pop those up on the screen so I can see, so I know who I'm talking to. Because tonight's uh, message that I want to give to you is about value and how to provide value, not just what you hear all the time, but how to actually truly dive deep and give the value that your prospects want so that you can have people coming to you, you know, knocking on your door. So are you guys getting a good connection? Just want to see uh, some hearts, make sure you guys can hear me all right. Any hearts, any love, anybody? So... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely get to it. I just want to give it a couple more minutes and uh, see who else is getting ready to jump on here. But, um, you know, when my wife and I, we've been in business for about 15 years now. And when we first got started in business, you know, all we learned was to, to go out and meet people and shake hands at a gas station. You know, go to the, the, the supermarkets, go to the park with your kids or your dog and, and just meet people. And that was the only way that we were taught how to get prospects. So it was literally, how many prospects could you get in a single day? And that works. You know, we we built our business to a very, uh, very good place doing that. But we knew there was another way to do that. We knew there was another way to get more prospects that would actually be coming to us rather than us going out and hunting people. Um, You know, if any of you can relate to that, if you've been you know, guilty yourself of having to go to the supermarket and say, listen, I got to meet three people so that I can expose my business opportunity, right? And so what I want to talk about, give me some hearts, if you don't mind, just tap the screen, double tap the screen. Let me know that you can hear me because I want to make sure that you're able to get this, uh, this good message that I have. And I'm going to be driving, so it may be a little hard to constantly look down at you. But um, you never know with crazy South Florida drivers what's going to happen. But um, so, you know, my wife and I, we were looking for a way to be able to show our business opportunity and meet prospects and not just go hunting at the store or the supermarket or the gas station all the time, every day, all day. And so we started delving into attraction marketing. You know, attraction marketing is just real simply uh, putting enough value and content out there that people want to know what you're doing. People, you are basically putting yourself as an authority figure so that people will, uh, you know, be able to reach out to you to get solutions to their problems. And I thought that was a phenomenal idea. It's like, hey, if I can be a solution or a problem solver, that means I'm going to get more people that are going to be attracted to me. Okay, and that's basically the, you know, 15 second essence of what attraction marketing is. So what I want, the message I want to share with you though is, you know, we talk about providing value, providing content, giving people something that they need, right? And too often I see network marketers as a whole that are simply thinking about only themselves. You know, innately we are creatures of habit, we are creatures that ultimately think of ourselves first. That's just natural. It's the, you know, the the whole survival of the fittest. You know, I got to eat before you do so I can survive. And that's how most people think. Most people are like, I got to get mine, right? And 
I see a lot of network marketers with this same philosophy that they have to get theirs. They have to, they're, they're looking to sponsor reps, they're looking to, you know, sell more products, they're looking to make more money, which is fine. That's why, you know, most of us got into network marketing was to become profitable. But they do it at a cost. And what that cost is, the cost is at the prospect's, um, um, I'm trying to think of the word. It, 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 basically, who suffers is the prospect. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, quite simply, have you ever gone on Facebook or Twitter or um, Instagram or any of the social media markets, really, and they, you see all these posts of, hey, I'm expanding, I'm looking for three people to join my company, ground floor opportunity, make money in 60 days or less. Hey, what's up, Chris? How you doing, buddy? Um, you know, make money. And, and all they're doing is they're just throwing their their company, they're throwing their, um, you know, different websites all over the place. And they don't really even care about you as a person. All they care about is they're hoping that somebody's going to click and buy. Click and join. Click my, click my link, join my business. Click my link, buy this product, right? So there's... They're just out to, they're out for self. That's all they're trying to do. They're trying to just, sorry guys, I'm going through a tunnel here. They're, they're out for self, you know? They're just looking to make the next buck. They're just looking to sponsor the next rep. So my challenge to you is to start thinking about not just providing value to your marketplace, whoever your target market is, but really get inside of their head. And your marketing efforts, your your uh, business can really explode on social media if you literally do a little bit of reverse engineering. If you go against the grain of what everybody else is doing, which is slapping their their link on, on any sort of social media, looking for anybody that will listen to them, hoping somebody will join, and instead you actually come from a more analytical standpoint. Now, how do you do that? Well, that's real simple. I mean, think about this. You know, pretend that you are you know, getting in bed with your target market. Now, I don't mean, I know that came across weird. I don't mean it like in a weird sense, all right? So clean your mind out of the gutters. But what I want you to do is start thinking about your target market and what they think about at night. You know, what is your target? What keeps them up at night? What are their struggles? What are their, the things that that they wish they could overcome? What are the things that, you know, keeps them from having a joyous life and they're living a, you know, just kind of an average, average life? What kind of things do they think about on a daily basis when they're alone, when they're tossing and turning at night? You know, what are, what are some of the things that they're thinking about when, you know, the new year comes and they're making their new year's resolution? What are some of those things that they want to do? What are some of the things that they've been neglecting as a result of their chosen career? You know, so, you know, if your target market is CEOs, right? You know, maybe it's how can I make the life of a CEO a little bit smoother? What can I offer a CEO, the average CEO? What can I offer them that can help solve some of their problems? What are some of the things that a CEO is stressed about? You know, if you think about the CEO at your job, Um, You know, what are some of the things that when they have, when they're having a bad day and they're in a bad mood, what is that that's causing that? If you are, uh, your target market is, you know, network marketers and people in the home business sector, what are some of the things that are, that are, you know, keeping them up at night? What are they frustrated with? What do they, what do they want more of? You know, what do they want less of? Hey, what's going on? Good to see you. You know, what are they, what are they, what are they short of? Are they looking to, you know, get more leads? Are they looking to, you know, maybe uh, get more prospects? Are they looking to uh, sell more products? What are they looking to do? You know, so you have to really start getting in the head and in the mind of the people that you are targeting. What is it exactly that that they need? And instead of coming from the pro- the the Instead of coming from the position of, I need to sponsor another rep in my business, I need to sell more product, you know, instead flip that and think about what is it that 
my target market needs. And if you can do that, what's going to happen is you're going to start being able to relate to people better. You're going to be able to provide true value to them because true value, you know, that is what they are going to be attracted to. They're going to be attracted to that value that you're providing to them because you are now being able to solve a need, right? That need was they wanted to learn how to sponsor more reps in their business. So if you know what's keeping them up at night, you provide that value rather than just putting on a a link and saying, hey, if you want to make money, join my business. That's not offering any value. You're not solving anybody's problem by just doing that. You may think you are because you're offering a great opportunity, but they don't know you or me from Joe Schmo. So why are they going to get in business with you? Why are they going to get in business with me? We have to be able to provide that value so that they want to be in business with us, so that they want to learn from us. How did you become friends with, you know, maybe your best friend? Think about this. You know, when you became friends with somebody, why is it that you chose them as a friend? It was probably because you gave them some sort of a value. Your friendship was value. You offered something in return. It was a give and take. So you're going to be able to get you, you're going to be able to get yours, if you will, if you give enough out to other people, if you give value out to other people and help solve their problems, your problems will in turn be solved. Does that make sense? Throw me some hearts if you guys are, are, are getting this, if, if this is making sense, because I just see a lot of people, they want to register a rep so bad in their business, but they're forgetting to give the value and they're not thinking from the standpoint of the prospect. See, what the prospect is thinking is, what's in it for me? Yeah, that's nice. You have XYZ business. That's great. You're making a lot of money. That's cool. But ultimately, what's in it for me? What can you show me? Remember, people think about themselves. They don't think about you. They're thinking about themselves. So if you instead turn that and and stop thinking about yourself and actually put your mindset on what other people want, what your target market needs, what's keeping them up at night, what they're struggling with, and you become a solution rather than just a spammer, when you become a solution to the puzzle, when you become a solution to their problems, their fears, their needs, their wants, and their desires, then you're going to be able to start attracting people to you that are going to want to be in business with you. They're going to want to be your quote-unquote friend. They're going to want to learn from you because now you've taken your eyes off yourself and you've put it on other people. And so I, I hope this helps. I hope this resonates. You know, um, feel free. I I do a lot of different trainings and stuff. Um, I I host a lot of that on my blog, which is at uh, Get Motivated for Success. I do a ton of different trainings on how to talk to prospects, how to close prospects, how to get more leads for your business, how to um, meet people. You know, if you're out and about and you want to meet people, how to do all that. I share all of those different tips uh, on my blog post. It's Get Motivated for Success. Get Motivated forsuccess.com and you can definitely feel free to visit. I I post there quite a bit. Um, I offer a lot of cool free stuff for you so I would highly encourage if you're somebody that's looking to learn how to give value and learn um, you know what kinds of things you can do to pr- to provide value. You can definitely get it on my blog which is getmotivatedforsuccess.com and um, so I am getting ready to run into a meeting, but before I do, I want to give you all the opportunity, and thanks for joining me on Periscope. I love this cool system. I want to give you the opportunity to ask me any questions that you may have. So I'll, uh, I'll shut up for a couple seconds here and see what kind of questions that you may have, whether it's what kind of value do you give, you know, how do you provide the value, what are some ideas, um, you know, how can, what, what method can I communicate that value? Do I do it through video? Do I do it through, it's hot out here. Whew. It's like eight o'clock at night and it feels like it's still 90 degrees down here in Florida. But you know, what, what sort of, you know, what kind of questions do you have? So fire away at a couple questions that you may have. I gotta get something in my car here real quick. Any questions? Comments, did this help you guys? Give me some hearts if you th- thought this uh, was helpful. So, 
I am going to run in and do this awesome training and seminar. We are going to have loads of people getting excited, fired up about the future. We're giving value, guys. That's what we're doing. We're giving value and we're attracting people. People want to be a part of something. People want to be, people want to be, you know, more than just going to work, working a nine to five. They want to, they want to do something. And, uh, you know, we're offering a, a great opportunity to do that. So, um, that said, guys, enjoyed sharing with you guys. Make sure, like I, like I said before, go check me out on uh, Get Motivated for Success. And uh, you guys have an awesome night. And we will see you on the flip side.